the Beard from Metal Gods TV and I am with Attica Rage. And you'd like to go around introducing yourselves, guys. Richard Age, drummer. Stevie Bell, lead guitar. Uh, Big C, drummer. <laughs> Johnny, drummer. <laughs> <laughs> and the singer. And the bass player. Brilliant. Um, last night you sort of did something a bit different, like a more covers set. Um, what was the idea behind that? Um, we thought, because I was thinking of. Um, the opening night party. Right? It was the opening night fun. party night. We thought, right, and instead of just blasting people with, with our own stuff, which would have been good, um, don't yeah, get me wrong, yeah, yeah. Um, we just thought, right, we'll just, we'll just do a cover set, we'll get some good old classic rock and roll just going. And uh, people reacted really well to it, and it felt really good playing it. And it was, it was a good night last night, yeah. Really, really enjoyed it. it was good response. Kind of kept with the party vibe, you know. I mean, yeah. playing Saturday, that's kind of main set, and it's the kind of the big set, you know. It's a kind of concentration and you know getting it right but it's Thursday night it was just uh, kind of warm up and good fun. Did you go all the pirates? Yeah. Yeah. Giving the hornsies. Hornsies? Hornsies? What are you from? Swansea? I'm from hornsies. Okay. And uh, your, your stuff that you've got yourself are you promoting any new material at the moment? Well we're just about to really we've been working on an album all year it's been taking ages but you know, we're finally finished it. So the, the material that we're going to be playing is, is a lot of the new stuff, um, and uh, the promotion for that will be next year, but um, we're just kind of rounding it all off now, and we've got some labels coming to see us, and some people kind of, you know, some industry people coming to take notes. It's a big, it's a big event for us, and it's a big gig, so. I mean, this is going to be the kind of, the road test for some of the new stuff, the first time we've played it kind of thing, to, to like a big audience, so it's, um, it's just, just to see how it goes down. I think we're confident we're really like it, though. Yeah, it's, um, we, we played a, a warm-up gig um, two weeks ago, uh, and it's at a local pub. We just thought, we'll just local pub, some gear in, just play. The people coming in, no charge, no tickets, nothing. Yeah. And we just played it, and it felt natural. Didn't feel forced. Felt really comfortable, really confident, really, really tight. It was good. Playing in your living room, basically. Yeah, yeah. as well, playing at home. <laughs> Superb, great stuff. And uh, what, so you're going to do a big tour next year, you, but you know yourselves. Yeah, well, I mean, that, that, we've got our management in place, and they're kind of you know sorting out agents and tours. And at the moment, nothing's confirmed. But it, it all really relies on the album. Once we get the album heard, out to the industry, industry kind of people um, get agents on board, then we'll get the tours. So hopefully, getting some support tours rather than we will do our own gigs. But I think we're trying to get some sort of decent supports as well, you know, and lots of other festivals as well. So. Summertime festivals, definitely. Yeah. I get a few more of those. Is there any festivals that you'd like to play that you haven't played? Wacken. Yeah? Yeah, I'd love to play Wacken. Grass pop. I've always yeah. wanted to do grass pop. Yeah. Okay, okay. So I'd like to see Donington. I was going to say, uh, we're looking at each other, it has to be Donington. Or Bloodstock. Yeah. Or both, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody watching? Do you want to play them all? <laughs> Is your garden? Yeah, yeah. I, just want, I just want a big stage and a big bass amp. That's all I want. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. I'll do that. Middle of field, the middle of nowhere. Okay. <laughs> And where do you seem to get the most response crowd-wise? Is it in the UK or other countries? Do you get better response there? The, the first time we played um, Metal Camp um, in was, on, was in, in Slovenia. It was the second stage. And Metal Camp, it, it's more... It, it's really heavy stuff. Um, but we went down really well and people got really into it. And it, it, was, it was quite surprising. It was really good. It was excellent. We actually do have a, a large European fan base, and I know bands talk about that, but actually we do. And the problem is that we never, you know, we can't afford to go over. It's so expensive to go over. And, um, you know, you have to kind of prioritise the UK first, you know. And, and, but uh, we actually do have a, a, a fan base that's been growing for the last few years, and it's just. Getting the opportunities to, to sort of go over there and hopefully, you know, I mean, we do, we do go there well. Yeah, and then we kicked off the main stage, obviously, Metal Camp. Last year, last year. Last year with, uh, I think our dressing room was next to a, a, a little band called Testament. Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah. And Phil, Phil was Anselmo like, was across the, across the way. Yeah. Oh hi, Phil. Hi. Oh, yeah. Cheers, man. Peace. It's like shit, man, is it? Yeah. Absolutely bricking it. It's not Anselmo, it's fucking Black <laughs> And obviously, you do meet people out and about. I mean, is that the sort of highlight for you, meeting Testament, or some other bands that you've met? And you think, oh god, why am I in the same room with these people? You know. Well, it's the kind of the metal, the metal, um, the Golden Gods was unbelievable. I, I, I walked past um, Yannick Gers, my maiden on the stairs, and the final countdown was playing his guitar solo, and I'd, I'd had a few beers. 
and I just turned around and went, Yannick, see that? That's a real guitar solo. And he just burst out laughing. And I was like, I never in my, and I woke up in the morning, I was like, why did I say that to him? Why? He's going to think I'm a dick. But even, I, mean, I have to say, I have rock hell in events like this where you know, the bands and the oh, yeah. kind of walk about, you know, you do kind of, you do mix them quite easily. And you know, it's kind of, you do kind of pinch yourself, you know. And even for us, a band at our level, you know, opening the main stage tomorrow with, uh, you know, the likes of Paul Diano and, you know, Hale Eden and Saxon, and Michael Schenker, you know, it's just, well, it's, well, it's, it's uh, amazing. It's just, it's just well, I think tomorrow's, sh tomorrow's Saturday show, anyway, you know, the main stage, I mean, you sit, stand there from 12 o'clock right through to 3 in the morning, there's not, every band is just yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's just going to be seeing Saxon again. Um, it's just going to be stunning. But I mean, that whole lineup for Saturday night is just—it's unbelievable. I, mean, I can't think of any festival where you would get that. It's just it's stunning. Yeah, yeah. That's what makes Harbour Hill quite different. You know, is you do get bands that wouldn't, you know, that download wouldn't book or you know, Sonic Sphere wouldn't book or whatever. You know. And it's also good that these bands, I mean, the major name bands, like Halloween as well, are coming here to Wales to to Hauntons, basically. You know, it's just brilliant. You know, it's just. Well, I must admit, the first time I came here and somebody said you're going to Ponting's holiday camp to a yeah. metal fair, I thought, fuck off. Sounds amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what it sounds like. Yeah, this yeah. doesn't sound good. What was the Biff said the first time Saxon? Yeah. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to, well, you walked on, like, he said, I'm not going to say Heidi Heidi. <laughs> <laughs> Scream for me, Ponting's, is it's Ponting's, 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 it's but then, the more you think about it, the more it makes sense. It is. You, 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 go, in, you go into a, an arena, you watch six or seven amazing bands, and then you stumble home 200 yards to your chalet, where you've got a bed and beer. And it's just like, you, you wake up in the morning, you go to the break, you go get breakfast. You don't have to go, oh, I need to go to the shops and get stuff. Go, you go and get breakfast, and then you go and get a beer, and then there's more bands on. It makes perfect sense. It's brilliant. It's a great idea. And finally, is there anything you would like to say to the masses out there about Attica Raid, why should come and, or any other message you'd like to give them? Support new British bands, you know, and we're, we're one of them, and next year's going to be a big year for us. We've got a new album that's really going to, you know, appeal to a lot of people, and then just give it a chance and have a listen if you haven't already, you know, but we've already got our last album out there, you know, but come and see us next year. Yeah, it's, uh, just support live music. Um, just go and see bands, just do it. It's, it's the only way to get a proper concert vibe. It's, it's, there's nothing like it. You enjoy it. It's like rock and metal for all the years, all the masses. You still love it and you still go wear it. You know, it's, it will continue forever. That's our deal. Very good, thanks a lot, man.